It's Chris Matmaszewski with the Built-in Calgary Group, and we are going to be looking at the community quarterly stats for Acadia over the last year here. And um, I can honestly say when you look at these stats, you'll see why Acadia had such decent sales production here. So let me uh, share my screen with you so you can see a little bit about what I'm talking about here and uh, get right into it here. So we're gonna look at uh, detached, semi-attached row houses and apartments here, but primarily focused on the detached sales. Sales overall um, are the price points are up about 15, 16%, uh, really productive. Um, you know, you can see that the first couple of quarters, first three quarters actually were very productive and then down slightly in the last quarter. But I mean, you see that uh, the sales numbers were very decent this year, up almost 6%, 147 sales, almost 150, um, you know, and our months of supply sitting well below the city average at 1.59. You know, we did sort of start to see creep up there a little bit in the third quarter, but of the couple of listings that we had in there, uh, things moved really quickly, sort of started to stagnate and look like things were going to drop. And then all of a sudden, everything just, it hit and then boom, it was done. So uh, list to sale price, we see that was close to 100% there, but, you know, strong, strong pricing in the first two quarters there and a little bit of pull pullback in the uh, last two quarters. So all in all, uh, single family fared fairly well and uh, inventory uh, sitting, um, you know, a little bit shy of uh, last year's numbers, but um, um year to date, but nonetheless, um, it's uh, productive. Okay, uh, I'm not really gonna talk about semi-detached, not a lot there, not a lot going on. Uh, the row houses there, you know, you've got a couple areas here over by co-op and uh, on 90th there. Um, sales were down 20% or over 20%, but that primarily due to the amount of listings, just down like 40%, like there was hardly anything. I mean, if there was a time to be selling product in Acadia, and the style of product, this would be it. I would be looking to sell a row house any day here. If you're looking for more space or you're looking to um, get rid of your condo fees and you just don't want to have a party wall, uh, this would be the time to exercise it. You know, we sort of seen that, um, you know, the median average price. Obviously, there's a couple different segments of um, uh, townhome complexes, but uh, don't let that sway you. I guess all I'm trying to share with you is uh, we see that uh, the median price is up over 20%. I mean, very strong, very productive there. And then rounding out on the apartment side there, you know, we can sort of see that sales were up 10%, you know, listings. So, you know, pretty much uh, even Stephen on the inventory to uh, sales performance there. Um, but, um, you know, overall, you know, we definitely saw a bit of a slide in the average price there, down about 3%. But uh, nonetheless, uh, still, still fairly strong. And, um, you know, I think with the affordability factor there, uh, with the increase in interest rates, um, you know, apartment sales uh, could have a, a few more um, ticks and uh, positive upbeat to go. So that's kind of what's going on in the community of Acadia there. If you'd like to know what your home would sell for in today's marketplace, or if you'd like to know more about our guaranteed sale program, uh, give us a call 403-809-3523. You're under no obligation to do anything um, other than just learn and get educated. Happy to do so. But uh, if you're thinking about transacting, uh, just remember, uh, we don't just list properties. We are a marketing. Um, we are a marketing team. Enjoy the rest of your January and uh, the start of February. Cheers.